Hi everybody, I just wanted to show you something really cool about the AA9600 and that is you can overclock it by 1 GHz really, really easy and I think that makes this APU really attractive, much more attractive than it already is. Uh, we can just set the multiplier to 41 here on this uh, Asus Prime B350MA mainboard. Everything else we let at auto or default settings, voltages, target TDP. And that's it. We restart it and um, see if it's already, if it's stable. We uh, can check it in CPU set, but on the left we see a 32% overclock, which is great. I have the stock cooler on, the boxer cooler on the APU at full speed, just to be sure that it doesn't get too hot. But there's room for fine tuning, I guess. So we let the CPU set benchmark run to see if it's more or less stable and it looks like it is. We already have, we now have already a APU that is faster than an Athlon X4 950, which is pretty cool, I have to say. And after this we can have a look how the overclocked APU behaves in Battlefield. So on the right we have the 4.1 GHz and on the left the default. Uh, keep in mind that Battlefield here is also limited by the GPU, but as you can see in a few seconds here in slow motion, we can see that the minimums on the overclocked CPU are consider considerably <laughs> fast better than on the left. And also the GPU gets better, um, has a better load. But the big deal is when you are using the APU with a separate graphics card, as you can see here in the clock scaling test I did some days ago, from 3 GHz to 4.2 GHz, there's a massive difference. So you could start a build with the A8, really cheap, game, most games, at lower details and lower, lesser, uh, lower resolutions, but if at one point you want to play at 1080p and higher details, you just add in a graphics card like the 1050 in it, then the iGPU is deactivated and you can overclock it, you can overclock the APU to 4.1 or even more, I haven't tested it, I haven't, I hadn't time, or even more, and you have a really great upgrade path and from there you can at one point change to switch to Ryzen and then take another graphics card and so on. So pretty cool. 